Week of Easter, Thursday, the Judgment on Unbelief. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear and hear, but do not understand. See and see, but do not perceive. Make the heart of this people fat, and their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and return and be healed. Isaiah 6, verses 9 and 10. Dear Redeemed, A strange couple of verses, and perhaps a bit troubling. The Son of God calls the prophet Isaiah to go forth and proclaim the word to the people among whom he lived. However, though they would hear the word that they needed for salvation, they would not hear with the ears of their souls. The people hear the words, but they do not hear the word at all. They see, but do not perceive. It's like the dullness of a cow staring at a fence post, or the indignant anger of a Pharisee listening to Jesus forgive a man of his sins. I've seen both that vacant look, as well as that scowl of hatred on occasion, particularly when preaching at the funeral of a beloved faithful member of the congregation. Family members who have never heard the gospel, or who have departed the faith, are in attendance, and they neither see nor hear. Others in attendance hear the very same sermon with the law that shows us our need for the Savior, and the gospel that declares the Savior's forgiveness, eternal life, and salvation. Why the difference? Is it Jesus Christ's fault? And the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? Answering, he said to them, Because to you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For whoever has, to him more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. There are only two groups of people, those who have been given the gift of faith in Christ and those who are unbelievers. Jesus speaks in parables because parables reveal and conceal. The disciples are followers of Jesus and they seek to know the truth. Jesus tells them that the faithful are privileged to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, namely the gospel truths. The faithful, who already have the forgiveness of their sins, eternal life, peace with God, and salvation, will be given even more. Such souls will be with the Lord in paradise when they depart this world. On Judgment Day, they will receive the commendation of Jesus. They will reside in heaven and abide in the glorious presence of the Lord God Almighty, the holy angels, and the other saints. And what of the faithless? who now enjoy many blessings of God's creation, food, drink, house, home, society, friends, family, even what they have will be taken away. In addition, Jesus is in the midst of Pharisees, and this was their day of grace. That would be taken away as well. What remains is hell. The parables conceal, and this is a judgment on unbelief that takes place in time and for eternity. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. And in them the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, which says, Hearing you will hear, and shall not understand, and seeing you will see, and not perceive. For the hearts of this people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and turn, so that I should heal them. The tendency might be to question Jesus, and to sympathize with such people. But ponder a moment about whom Jesus is speaking. The Pharisees were filled with self-righteousness, and considered themselves justified before God by the law. They rejected who Jesus is, the incarnate Son of God. They rejected what he came to do to give his life as the sacrificial Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. They wanted no grace from Jesus, no forgiveness, no mercy. Unknowingly, they were under the control of the devil. Their hearts were like stony ground, and their lives were entangled in their own pursuits of self-justification. Thus, they saw Jesus and did not perceive their Savior. They hear his words of the parables, 
and missed the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. Matthew 13, verses 10 through 17. And you, dear redeemed, blessed are your eyes, for you see these truths with your heart, and blessed are your ears, for you hear them in your soul. Prayer. Lord Jesus, my prayers ascend for those who have not heard the gospel and for those who have rejected it. You do not desire the eternal death of anyone. Hear my prayers for the heathen here and far away. May they be told of their sin and their Savior, turn from their idols, and trust in you and the Father who sent you and the Holy Spirit who sanctifies the faithful. Hear also my prayers on behalf of those who have departed from the faith and are lost. Grant them the gift of repentance, that they may hear that they are forgiven and restored to you and your kingdom. Amen. Hymn number 481, stanza 5. And let thy word have speedy course, through every land be glorified, till all the heathen know its force, and fill thy churches far and wide. Wake Israel from his sleep, O Lord, and spread the conquest of thy word.